Hello and welcome to Rusty's Roundup. Round 26 saw the Europa League round of 32 come to a close. Winning his second round of the season, Martin Preston cruised through the second leg, beating Ben Herring 22-14. Kev Lees did enough in the first leg to go through, even though Emmeline Callum won the second leg. Ollie Chipchase makes the last 16 after taking both legs against Scott Jeffrey. After losing the first 11-8, Alex Watson came back in the second leg, beating Del Middleton 21-17 overall. It was pretty much all over before kick-off between Paul Terry and Jason Mills, after Paul forgot to enter in the first. Jason took the second leg too, winning 15-7 overall. Richie Abbott's 11 points in the second leg proved too much for Kelly Shepherd after drawing the first leg 6-all. Tony Bagley pro progresses after beating Ben Lowe 23-17. Dan Young came back from a two-point deficit to beat John McNichol 19-18 to go through and Graham Watson's 13-6 from the first leg was too much for Spencer Kingsnorth to overcome. Brett Dolbear progresses despite the best efforts of Danny Watson, who scored 13 points Saturday. Only picking up six points in both legs, Richard Palmer's journey comes to an end, losing 15-12 to Josh Sheridan. But it's Luke Jones progressing after topping the round with Martin Preston, Rob Vinoy failing to capitalise in the first leg when Luke forgot, going out 16-10. Benny Ling wins by a narrow one-goal margin, knocking out Joe Wennell. And Stephen Cully's five-point lead from the first leg wasn't enough as Mark Donnelly's 14 points Saturday saw him win the tie 2019. Forgetful Neil Horners went out 22-6 to Alan Terry. And scraping through via the away goals rule, Dave Croft knocks out Matt Newman after drawing 17 all with Dave's 13 away goals trumping Matt's 9. Good luck to you all in the next round. Round 27 takes place Tuesday, with the games all coming from the Champions League. Bottom of Group H, Lille, a yet-to-win a game, conceding 12 and only scoring, scoring 3, with one of those coming from their first game against Chelsea. Although Chelsea have only won clean sheet in the group stage, they might just have enough on home soil to shut Lille out. A must-win game for Inter against group winners Barcelona. Only th breached three times, Barca are a tough team to beat. Inter do have the quality and have scored in every group stage game, but have only kept one clean sheet. Both teams to score. Group H leaders Ajax need just one point to secure their place in the knockouts, Valencia need all three to secure theirs. The previous match saw Ajax triumph 3-0 away from home, so back on home soil and in great domestic form should get what they need. Expect an open game as Valencia will have to go all out to have any chance of progressing. Dortmund faced Slavia Prague in possibly their easiest game of the group. They won the previous match 2-0 away from home, so should be victorious at home. Slavia Prague are still looking for a win in the group stage and I can't see them getting one here. Dortmund clean sheet. Leon host already qualified Leipzig. Leon won the first match 2-0 away. Now on home turf, an unbeaten Leon will look to secure their progression, but it's a must-win match to keep the fate in their own hands. I think this will be a tight game. 1-0 Leon. Benfica have, have, have to win by at least five goals and hope that Leon lose to nil. On home soil, Benfica look the better of the two, winning two of the three head-to-heads to nil. Zenit, however, also won theirs to nil, so maybe avoid both teams scoring. Don't forget to join the Facebook group £20 Super 6 League. Click the link in the description below and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Rusty's Roundup. Clicking the notification bell to never miss an update. Thanks for watching. Hashtag I didn't forget Jeff.